Hello everyone, Gomrath here, and today I'm going to be wrapping up my best pets or the notable pets from every family video. Um, as you can see, I've got a little bit of a change of venue. I'm out in Ulam, which is a really cool zone, especially if you're into Egypt style stuff. Um, but I just wanted to change this scene from Grizzly Hills. So, in our first, I, as you can see, I've got three sets of uh, three teams here of the notable undead pets. It was really hard for me to narrow it down even just to these nine pets, but I think these are nine pets that everybody should own. So the first one I want to talk about is Fester Gut. Okay, he is a double counter to dragon type pets and that he has two, well he's got one humanoid ability um, that you can combine with Acid Rain. So he's got a really powerful Dreadful Breath combo, one in uh, Acid Rain, Dreadful Breath. So he's just great versus dragon types. I use him in a couple leveling teams and he's, he's fun to throw out in PvP sometimes too because uh, he's got a pretty sizable chunk of health and a fairly high amount of power which is, I mean, he's slower than Frozen's not rolling uphill, but he can be useful in some PvP teams if you're into the AoE thing. Um, yeah, but he's, he's a really fun pet. He comes from Professor Peter's side out in Ice Crown Citadel. Now, the next guy on this list is the Bone Smuggler. Well, it's actually the Bone Serpent, but I named mine Bone Smuggler in honor of a family joke. Um, yeah, super uncomfortable. But I'll leave that for another time. Anyway, the Bone Smuggler here, he is an undead pet that has the Call Darkness Nocturnal Strike combo, and you pair it with Bone Barrage. The reason this guy is one of my absolute favorite pets is because he has strong versus humanoid, strong versus dragon type, and strong versus aquatic. Okay, you run into that particular combo of pets all the time in PvP. This guy is a god in PvP. Um, my call or my dark rat team, my PVP team, uh, let's see, I have 285 wins and seven losses on that team. And it's just this really, really powerful combo. I've got a video about that. I'll leave it in the description as well. Uh, so you could go check that out, but he is an absolute must for PVP. Absolutely love him. Um, now this next pet, the wicked soul, it's in the same family as the unborn valk and the ghastly kid and that they're all haunt users those are the three pets in the game that can use haunt but what makes the wicked soul great is he has an ss breed so you can get haunt off really quickly uh so like you will beat out the fiendish imp because the fiendish imp is only 333 speed uh so you'd be able to if you're going up against a fiendish imp throw your haunt out before he's able to switch you out um whereas if you're on the unborn valk or the ghastly kid that would not be the case so it's almost like a dodge uh just because you're so quick uh he also can run haunting song and ghostly bite uh it's that this is if you run that particular combo it is very much reliant on you having other pets to do a lot of work because this is a four round cooldown this is a four round cooldown that is a three round cooldown so like i said you know you're kind of relying on your other pets to do work now this next set of pets here uh i love okay stink rot here he was somebody who I always thought was kind of a waste of space until I actually tried to PvP with him. And he's a freaking beast. Uh, if you have watched my best pets of Raiding with Leashes, I think he's from 3 because he drops from Mount Hyjal or Hyjal Summit, uh, the raid. Oh my goodness, he is just so survivable. You run Infected Claw, Blood Plague, and uh, Digest Brains, and this guy just lasts forever. He's got, for an undead, Oh yeah, it's because he's got a balanced breed. Uh, he's not super slow, and that's one problem that most undeads have, is that they got high health, high power, but they're crazy slow. And anyway, he's not that slow. Uh, he's middle of the pack, and definitely he's faster than most power balance breeds, uh, or most power power breeds you're going to run into. So he's great. I love him. Uh, you could also go explode corpse. Let's see, infecting the targets receive 5% of their maximum health is undead damage every round for four rounds. So, like, if you use him and you're not going the survivability route, uh, maybe you go, like, infected claw and rot. But I don't know why you'd want to use rot on this guy because he doesn't have any critter type moves. I mean, you could use it and switch into, like, a critter pet. But he's, he's just great. 
Just take my word on it. And you want the power balance breed. That's the best out of all his. Now, the Son of Seath, um, this is another pet that is really popular, but I don't exactly like using. Because his whole moveset is just stay alive forever, stay alive forever. And, um, you know, his basic here, Blood Plague, which I think is honestly better than Absorb. Uh, you run Touch of Animus, Blood Drain, and Blood Plague, and the guy just stays alive forever. And he's got a, a ungodly amount of power at 338 for a power speed breed. I mean, that's like as much as most power power breeds. Power power dragons. Like, let's see, here's a power power. Nope, he's 357. Uh, let's see, where's another power power? Uh, he's No, it's a claw. Okay, so this is a 325 power power J. Lane. Okay, he's got 325 attack. You compare that to Son of Seath, who's got 338 attack. It's like, geez, man, calm down. Anyway, really powerful in PvP. Uh, you almost never use Undeads in PvP. And he's just from getting exalted. Or no, he's just revered with the uh, Akora Outcast out in the Spires of Iraq. Um, really easy to do that. If you go and you quest in the zone, it'll take you about two or three hours to finish the zone. Uh, you can easily get revered. Um, or you can pick this guy up off the auction house. He's not that expensive. Uh, now we have the HH Spirit Crab. Now, I I think of this pet is kind of like one of the OG good pets because he's he's one of the older pets in the game. Um, I mean, he was only catchable in Mr. Pandaria, but he just dominated for many expansions because he had eighteen hundred, like almost nineteen hundred health. Uh, and he had Shell Shield, which made it so this was an undead who can actually fend off critter types. And uh, undeads have still one of the strongest racials in the game. And I would usually run Shell Shield, Whirlpool, and Snap. So even not having any additional power, look at that power. 292 power. That's one thing undeads are great at. As you can see, he's like slower than a snail. Uh, let's see, where's my snails? Let's just compare him really quick. Oh, no, he's the same speed as a snail. Okay, so he is just insanely slow, but he makes up for it in his power and health. And he's just caught out in the ghost lands, and he's really common. So definitely want to go snag him. Now, the last set of undead pets I wanted to talk about is we got the Weebomination. Um, he has death grip. There's a couple undead pets that have death grip. One of them is the spider, the bone spider that drops from Naxxramas. Uh, but what makes this guy great is he has cleave. He's got a spamble attack. It used to be so much more powerful. They nerfed the snot out of it. But um, he is only comes in the HH breed. Has a little bit less health than the uh, than the ghost crab or the ghost. Is that it? Spirit crab. Pardon me. Um, but he's also got some really heavy-hitting humanoid-type attacks, so he's good versus dragons. Uh, he can use Consume Corpse uh, to make him last longer. Really, he's a fantastic cleanup pet. Like, if it's towards the end of the battle and you've saved this guy, you can just... Because Consume Corpse is a three-round cooldown. And if you have two pets that are dead, or if you're using him in conjunction with, let's say, the Unborn Valk or the uh, uh, Ghastly Kid... Um, or the Wicked Soul, you can consume the corpse every time they do haunt. It, it counts as a new dead body. So, just incredible long survivability. Um, I really like this guy. Now, Stormstruck, he's dropped from a rare out in um, Shadow Moon Valley in Draenor. And he's the only pet in the game that has this ability, Carpnado, which is awesome. It does 509 aquatic damage split evenly amongst a whole team. And it's a really cool animation. He's also just another really powerful pet. He has uh, aquatic type moves. So he's good versus elementals. And there's not a lot of undeads that are strong versus elementals. So I would grab him. He's also fun. <sighs> Part of me in PvP. Then we're going to wrap up talking about undeads with the Frost Wolf Gove Pup. Now, he is from Archaeology and Draenor, and f I think he's the hardest-hitting Ghastly Bite user in the game. Um, he also has Sneak Attack, which, if you're running with a Darkness team, is nice, but then it makes it so his Haunting Song is not as good. And his Haunting Song is really, really powerful, because it heals for close to 900 damage. 
uh, which is insane. Like that is a giant, giant heel. So, yeah. Oh, pardon, pardon the yawns. It's not that early in the morning. I've just been doing schoolwork all morning, but that'll wrap up the undead pets. I I like pets from every single family. Like, there's not a single family on this list that I don't really like. I don't find myself playing with a lot of elemental types very frequently, but uh, you know that's probably my own problem. Oh, small side note about elementals. Check out what I picked up yesterday. Woo! Uh, I've got an alt camped out where this guy spawns, uh, Garnia, and I've killed him like a bazillion times and never had anything drop. And anyway, yeah, I killed him yesterday and got it. And I was like, hooray. So he's good for elemental. I didn't include him in my video because I didn't have him at the time. But that'll do it for my best of every family. Please let me know if there's any pets that you feel that I should have included. Uh, any video ideas that you'd like to hear you know, I'm always open for suggestions and leave them in the comments below. But it was a pleasure gaming with you guys. Have a great day.